Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. Every year at Barton Academy, students, faculty, and staff depart the campus for a two-week winter break. But there are always an unfortunate few who have nowhere to go for the holidays. They're known as the holdovers. Mr. Hunnam. Hello, Mary. I heard you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? You know, he used to be a student, right? Yeah, that's why he knows how to inflict maximum pain on us. Oh. I thought all the Nazis were hiding in Argentina. Stifle it, Tully. You just earned yourself a detention, sir. Being here with you is already one big detention. Son of a... That's another detention! Do you think I want to be babysitting you? No, I was praying your mother would pick up the phone or your father would arrive in a helicopter or a flying saucer. My father's to take you dead. You don't tell a boy that's been left behind at Christmas that nobody wants him? What's wrong with you? There's nobody here, okay? So you stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. Let me sleep. Now, most of the kids dislike you, pretty much hate you. Teachers, too. You know that, right? I find the world a bitter and complicated place, and it seems to feel the same way about me. I think you and I have this in common. I don't think I've ever had a real family Christmas like this before. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. History is not simply the study of the past, it is an explanation of the present. See, when you say it that way, and throw in some pornography, it's a lot easier to understand. No matter what! I'd like to propose a toast to my two unlikely companions. Are you trying to lift down my shirt? No. <laughs> yes. You're gonna get me fired. This is your Rubicon. Do not cross the Rubicon. The holdovers. Oh, Jesus! Adorable!